Hey guys, it's Hannah here, and today I have my Novatin Bar makeup basket for you guys. I didn't get a chance to do an intro for this, and I'm going to try really hard to get a chance to do an intro for December straight after this, if I get a chance. As I said in a get ready with me, that is not up yet. I am bulk filming a lot at the start of December because obviously December is a super busy time of year, particularly in retail, um, so I'm trying to get some filming done while I can. So, November was a busy month. I started a new job, which is basically why this has taken me so long to get up. Let's start with base products. Obviously, some things don't change, but I was using my NYX Angel Veil Primer with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. So, before my memory card filled up on me, I was explaining my base has been pretty normal, primer-wise, Urban Decay Optical Illusion. NYX Angel Veil and Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. For corrector, I was using the Becca Under Eye and Brightening Corrector. I have hit pan and I did expand the pan on this one. I find this quite emollient, which is why I wear it with something like my Tarte Shape Pay Concealer, which is a little bit drier. I think if I'm wearing a hydrating concealer, it doesn't quite work, but this tool together works really well. For powder, I had the Maybelline Fit Me that's in my end of year project, as well as the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This stuff is amazing. I was really worried about this, using this under my eyes because the Cover FX one did such weird things to my under eyes. This stuff is freaking incredible. I understand the hype behind it. It is so real. This is such a good loose powder and it's super affordable. And it's finally in Australia as well. Pick it up. For the cheeks, obviously, position to formula bronze booster. We know the drill there. Blushes, I had Tarte's Exposed and MAC Warm Soul. I love these. These are probably two of my favorite blushes of all time. Exposed is just a gorgeous neutral pink. This is the second one I have had because my old one got really old and gross. And yes, these blushes do go bad. It blends so much better than my old one did. And then MAC Warm Soul is just... This time of year particularly, I love Warm Soul for a peachy glow to the skin. You're not going to be able to see that on the camera. It's just beautiful. And then I topped Warm Soul with MAC Beaming Blush Extra Dimension Skin Finish. This is a pink to gold, so it really reflected well on Warm Soul, that gold shift. And then on Exposed, I used my new Becca. Berlin Girl Glow Highlighter, Shimmering Skin Perfector, whatever it is, this is freaking amazing. This is the most gorgeous highlighter for fair skin. It is a nude base with a little bit of a, I don't know if the camera is even going to pick that up. The sheen and almost the wet look of this is so beautiful on the skin, but it's really still quite natural. What is completely not natural, and I had fun playing with this on my eyes and cheeks, is Matte Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Snow Flushed. This is from the Christmas Collection. And it is Mac Style Wishly Merry Eyeshadow in a highlighter. So I've used this on the eyes and on the cheeks, and I obviously only used it on my cheeks when I was going out, but it was so fun. Um, and it does buff into the skin really nicely on top of another so I put down Beaming Blush and then I buffed that over the top to get the glitter in. Oh, it was so pretty. Oh, I also have my matte concealer in there because I was in NW15 because I was breaking out a bit and need a little bit extra help and that's when I used that concealer. Brows. We know the deal with the brows. NYX Precision Micro Brow. NYX Precision Brow Pencil, which is not a micro brow pencil. It's a straight one. And it stars the best Billy Hills brow is in taupe and benefit gimme brow is the best nothing can replace it on the eyes for base we had matte paint pot in soft ochre and the steel art shimmer and glow in grace that is in my project palettes played with some new ones the colourpop zodiac palette i did mostly stick with the neutrals in this i did dip into sagittarius Obviously, I needed Sagittarius in my life. I'm Sagittarius, if you didn't know. It was my birthday at the start of December. And the Scorpio. Pretty much used all the colours except for these three. 
Yeah. And they have ColourPop quality. I really enjoy the ColourPop pressed shadow formula. I know some people don't though, so do as you wish. I freaking love this palette. This is the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice palette. I know we're all inundated with warm tones, but this is such a beautiful palette. To me, this mixes Too Faced best formulas. They're metallics from the chocolate gold palette. They're mattes. I've always loved Too Faced mattes. If you have, if you prefer mattes and you have the Just Peachy Mattes palette, a lot of this is overlap. I'm using Just Peachy Mattes in December, which is why I have it on hand. There is a lot of overlap. Well, not really. There's not really much overlap at all. I'm looking in the mirror behind. It's, they're all actually quite different, but I feel like you can get quite similar looks with the mattes. But um, I love both of them, so it doesn't really matter. Hot Toddy. I feel like I could justify buying this palette just for Hot Toddy. But I also can get a really neutral look out of it when using something like looking at my cookie spiked eggnog and gingerbread latte. It was just a really soft look and I, I loved this palette. I know not everyone was super impressed with it, but for me it was exactly what I expected and wanted. The other one that I'm so glad I picked these two palettes as my holiday palettes. The Bare Minerals Aurora Light Palette. And this has a lot of mm, cooler tones to it, so it's a very contrasting palette to the gingerbread. But I used Catch Me If, mm, I don't want to blind you, Catch Me If Celestial Romp Louder Santorini. I basically just didn't use this half, which is what I knew was going to happen. The glittery stuff in Stardust is just strange and I don't particularly like it, but great everyday shades. Mascaras, I've still been... Actually, I think this was new. The Stila Huge Lash Extreme and the Wet n Wild Mega Volume. Mega Volume on the bottom because of the non on the lashes. This is the best freaking mascara. This is not the best freaking mascara. This is up there with Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir for me. This is amazing. It makes my lashes look incredible. I avoided using it for so long because I was worried it was going to be like Too Faced. Better Than Sex, which I do not like. But it's freaking incredible. I love it. Lips. Liners. Marc Jacobs Earthquake. Marc Jacobs. Blacker. And then for liquid, I've still got NYX Epic Ink in here. Lips, Dervish and Huda Muse. And then I was pretty much just using... Was I just focusing on... No, I wasn't. What lipsticks was I using? I don't even remember what lip products I was using. I think I was just kind of going ham and using whatever I wanted. So I don't quite remember, I'm sorry. That is it for my November makeup basket intro and recap video all in one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below how you've been going with your makeup baskets. Click subscribe, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.